Okay, so we're gonna continue our quest to get the perfect vlog set up. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to present to you the Hero 9 Black Max Lens Mod. It's gonna do a couple things. One, it's gonna give you a max stabilization. It's also going to give you max hyper smooth at 2.7K, 60 frames per second. But you're also, it's going to blow your field of view to a whopping 155 degrees. And you're also going to get the ability to lock that horizon, which means when you're going around, you're gonna get a fixed plane on your horizon. And that's coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Herbie from Herbie's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products. Now I've been doing a series. I'm trying to get the very best mods for the GoPro Hero 9. I've got a couple more things in hand, but in today's episode, we're gonna take a look at the Hero 9 Black Max Lens Mod. I need a grander view of perspective and to be able to lock that horizon. We're also going to be doing hyper smooth at 2.7K, 60 frames per second. So it's going to be a really great addition to make our view, because we go on lots of bike rides, we do lots of car shows as well, and we want to get the widest perspective available for the Hero 9. Anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom one over here. So if you have anything to contribute, do us a favor, let us know in the bottom. We'll continue this conversation there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go take a look at this one. 60 frames per second. That's amazing. The Max Hyper Smooth is something that I've been, been looking forward to do, but I haven't been able to use it because of the standard lens on the GoPro here. It's not so great for it. And now we're going to take a look and see exactly what we have. So you're going to get lifetime warranty. You're going to get a user guide. Basically you're going to take it off. You twist and count uh, one quarter turn in either direction and it's going to remove it. You pop in the lens and you should be good to go. Okay, so let's take a look. This box here is specifically for this. So all we do is we open this up like so. And you can see how it is. This is the back of the lens and this is the front. It's a really huge, you can see the comparison here. Look how big this thing is. And the shape has got a great oval on here. Now, it's gonna give you an ultra wide angle of 155 uh, view, field of view for enhanced perspective and an improved depth of field. So what it's also going to allow you to do is get a horizon lock and it's gonna keep your videos on the horizontal or vertical axis, even if you turn the camera a full 100, 360 degree angle, you're still gonna get that. So let us pop this on, and all we do is we turn quarter inch like so, and we pop it off, put this right here, and this, you'll see that it matches the ends right there, so you just place accordingly, and we twist. And that is going to do it. Now, also, this is gonna allow you to do max time warps for smoothest time warp video ever. And it's waterproof up to five meters when installed on the GoPro. But if you're using this case, you see that it's open here. Only use this with the GoPro by itself in its full enclosure. This way, it is not waterproof. So let's take a look at the back. Now, there are a couple caveats. When you're using the max lens mode, you have to make sure that you're in the max lens mode. Otherwise, your footage is gonna look distorted. So, let us put this in like this. And then we're going to turn it around and we're going to swipe down. There we go. So, you'll see here 
that there is a setting right over here that is the max lens mode. So max lens mode is enabled and it's going to give you max super view. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like with this on and then with it off. So let's take a look at the apartment with this on. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so right now we have max video. So we're going to do a couple things. We're going to take a picture and we're going to take a video. So this is the video. So this is with the max lens mode. I'll take a look at the surrounding area. I'm going to stay in the same spot just so you can see the perspective of the apartment and how it looks. But it's a the point of view is blown up. You can definitely see how it looks. Looks really really good. Okay, so now I'm going to take a picture with this mode and then we're going to switch the lens just so you can see the exact same perspective. Okay, so now we have the regular GoPro lens and we're going to go around just so you can see the difference in having the lens mod on this thing. This is the difference. So we're going to put this side by side. Now we're going to show you what the horizontal lock is means. So we're going to grab this and I'm just going to go around and if you notice it's going to keep it in the exact same motion. Okay so now I'm going to do a time lapse going down the stairs. This is probably the easiest way to see the hyper stabilization on here. We'll do five floors with the max lens mod and five floors with the regular lens of the GoPro Hero 9. So the first five with the Hero 9 lens in hyper smooth in time warp. Okay, this is with the GoPro Hero 9 Max Lens mod on top. Now we're going to compare the hyper smooth feature with the GoPro Hero 9 original lens with five floors versus five floors with the Max Lens mod. Let's check it out. Well, that's going to do for this episode. So let's let's wrap this up. Now, who is this lens for? If you are an adventure seeker, you're doing travel, or you want to show the world a bigger canvas, a bigger field of view, a grander field of view, 155 degree perspective of what you're looking at, then this $99 mod is definitely for you. You're going to get a lot of cool tweaks. Max Hyper Smooth for unbreakable video stabilization at 2.7K, 60 frames per second. You're gonna get an ultra wide angle, 155 field of view, perspective and depth of field, which is with the max lens mod setting, of course. You're going to get really good horizon lock, which means you're able to lock in a horizon and go around 360, and you're still going to be focused on the object of exactly what you're going to view and you get max time warp the smoothest rendition ever with this lens that's going to do for this episode for me it's going to be really good i do lots of car shows and i go on electric bike rides all the time where i'd like to get a grander perspective to show you guys is it for you well do me a favor let me know in the comments in the descriptions also, it seems that 97% of you are not subscribed. And if this video gets another uh, 2,000 subscribers or 2,000 likes, I will buy six of these for six of you. Well, that's gonna do for this episode. I want to see how you guys would use this. Let me know in the bottom and we'll continue this discussion there.
I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. Peace.